here's the thing I will say about Austin. Did you read this? Because I was there is a massive influx of um the Hollywood people coming here. Mm. And read the Hollywood reporter. Because I was quoted in this article. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was quoted in this. There's a massive influx of people here. I was shocked. I almost had to eat my words because you know me. I tend to believe that if they're going to write an article like this, it's going to be has-beens or people who aren't relevant mm -hmm. or people that nobody cares about, okay? No, no, go back to the top. But in, in, in all fairness to The Hollywood Reporter, they have – this is true. They have located some A-list stars. <laughs> The types of people where if you bumped into them, have you ever felt stunned in the presence of another human being? Because these people that have decided to leave Los Angeles for Austin are top level talent, top tier celebrities. These are not people where you do like a double take. This is like they need security, famous, worldwide Michael Jackson types, Princess Diana. Ready? Let's do it. As stars like Stephen Amell and Zachary Levi flock to the Texas Capitol. Dude. I mean. This is, did you even know they were here? I didn't know. Get, get them up, please, because I, they, I'm not trying to make a joke. I'm not kidding about this. They're here in Austin. Hold on. <laughs> Stephen Abel is a Canadian actor, producer, and occasional professional, professional wrestler. Known for playing Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, on the CW series Arrow, the show that started the Arrowverse. I had thought that the Hollywood reporter would write an article about like C-list people, mm -hmm. but I was wrong. Mm -hmm. So we have the, uh, uh, this guy, he's an actor mm -hmm. and a part-time professional mm -hmm. wrestler. Mm -hmm. Zachary Levy Pugh is an American actor, comedian, and singer. He received critical acclaim for starring as Chuck Bartowski in the series Chuck and as the title character in Shazam. This is, here's the question. Yeah. Will Hollywood survive? <laughs> it's not funny because there's a lot of good people in California. We all hate the business, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of people in there that have families. And with this type of exodus, <laughs> with the power players in Hollywood deciding to leave, to come to Austin, Texas. Keep going down because it doesn't end there, Ben. It doesn't stop <laughs> there. Okay? Now, this guy, Jason uh, Padalecki. Oh, is, Jared Padalecki? Jared Padalecki is like the big Austin advocate. He's uh, Padalecki's been here since 2010. And uh, he's done some stuff. Go down because he he is on some big shows. Uh, I don't know. They don't. He is on stuff, but... <laughs> I James <laughs> James Vanderbeek is here <laughs> from Dawson's Creek. <laughs> James Vanderbeek has said, "Hey, fuck you, Hollywood. Hey, fuck you." Do you know what he? Do you know how he? Do you know how James Vanderbeek left Hollywood? How he walked into Paramount Studios in Hollywood because they offered him a seven picture deal. Mm -hmm. Because someone there just saw Dawson's Creek. Mind-blowing. Someone just saw it and said, where's that guy now? <laughs> they bring him into Paramount. They said, seven-picture deal. Yeah. But you have to live in California. <laughs> he said, hey, fuck you. He goes, have you ever heard of the Texas Hill Country? And he just walked out, dude. Yeah. $20 million upfront guarantee, seven-picture deal. He said, no, James Vanderbeek. Listen to Scott Eastwood, Adrian Palicki, Adrian <laughs> Grenier from Entourage, the hit new show, and James Vanderbeek from Dawson's Creek, the hit new show.
listen to this. At the park in Beverly Hills near the house we just moved away from, you're not allowed to fly a kite. Th then the beak groused on Instagram as he moved the beak. That's what they call James Vanderbeek. The beak. The beak groused on Instagram as he moved his family to Texas this November. Quote, also not allowed at any park in Beverly Hills, riding a bicycle, climbing a tree, learning anything from an instructor, using weights, when people at... Now, by the way... What? I don't think this is true. This isn't... A lot of it's not true. But I love that he's, like, climbing a tree... You, hey, get off the tree, scumbag. Hey, scumbag. I hope James Vanderbeek's children get paralyzed from falling out of a tree where they are literally, like, literally, I hope he has to, like, wheel his son in a wheelchair, like, into Austin, and his son's like this. <laughs> and James Vanderbeek and they they go up to him they go dude I read that I hope it happens soon dude I read that fucking article about why you moved to Austin it's so true it's so true dude like you can't climb a tree and the kid's just like eh. and they go what happened to him and I hope James Vanderbeek has to go well I was encouraging him to climb a tree to be a real man and he fell and I I didn't catch him because I was Googling myself and then he broke his neck and now he can't walk. Um, but the good news is, here's the good news. The good news is that he can fly a kite now in the park. Now, not him, but we tie it to his wheelchair and then push him around. <laughs> James Vanderbeek, you can't learn anything from an instructor using weights. These are just some of the reasons. More freedom! was also a motive often expressed by arguably the most influential newcomer, Jui Regine. Who is this? Who is this guy? Joe Regan. Regan. Joe Regan. American comedian, podcaster, and UFC color commentator. He's a former actor, a television presenter. Rogan began his career in comedy. Regan. Joe Regan. Mm. Interesting. He lives here now. We're kidding, of course. Joe moved here to open up a comedy club. It is open. The Let me tell you right now. How much fun did we have the other night at Joe Rogan's New Comedy Club? Here it is. Joe Rogan's New Comedy Club, September 1st, opening night. Here is the lineup, everybody. Patrice O'Neill, Gary Shandling, Greg Giraldo, Robert Schimmel, Joan Rivers, Robin Williams, and me and Tony Hinchcliffe. September 1st, opening night. Joe Rogan and Friends. Big show on September 1st. <laughs>